after the summer, I've spoken to people uh, on the sort of investment banking side in London, and they've described a, a mentality that says things were pretty dire before the summer. But people have come back after the summer thinking there's a window of opportunity here. We want to believe in a U.S. soft landing, and that's the overall umbrella, the cover to go to market now. Are you seeing that mood in capital markets at this point? Yeah, I think uh, definitely. So we had a, obviously a very slow start, uh, as you said. We saw already in the second quarter a certain pickup. Uh, based on the fact that the, the interest rate hike cycle will come to an end, that we get into a more stable environment, and that therefore transactions can be priced again, and there's interest uh, on, the, on the investor side. And we've seen the, uh, um, the IPO markets have been super slow, but picking up recently. Um, you saw ARM, you, see, you saw the announcement on Birkenstock, etc. So, you, so there are transactions coming to the market, and we think also that there's a backlog building of, of the companies who weren't able to exit, the equi uh, to, uh, to exit in the equity mm. market. So now do. on the M&A market, we also saw like 25% down volumes year on year, so actually pretty sizable. But we saw it building, smaller companies, mid-sized transactions. We still have to wait for larger transactions, but there's more activity and there are more investors willing to put down capital, yeah. including activists, including non-solicited activity, which is, which is usually a good indicator of more activity to come. So we're quite positive. On and that. what's the role of Goldman Sachs in, in all of that then? Because, you know, the, plenty of other European banks will be wanting to get involved in that pickup in, in M&A and IPO activity, if that's what we're seeing. Yeah. What, what, how important is, is, is this pickup in Europe to Goldman Sachs? Oh, massively, uh, massively important because uh, clearly, uh, if there's cross-border activity, by the way, most of the activity we've seen in the year is cross-border uh, between two different, let's say, countries or regions. That's clearly our core business, so we tend to be involved in those. And then, and then also on the IPO side, look, I mean, you need a lot of uh, international Anglo-Saxon investors to get these IPOs done. 44% um, of the European uh, capital markets are owned by non-Europeans, so you can obviously make up the math that what you need in order to price an issue. So. Therefore, yeah, it's very core to us, and we look at it as part of our global business, and Europe has been growing very strong in, in, yeah. and going very strong, um, despite the fact that when you look at the economic outlook, clearly Europe ranks behind the U.S., given the U.S. seems to be more growing, at least in the foreseeable future, than Europe.